I just wanted to refute what? your claim that <laughs> you're gonna refute it. Okay, go ahead. It's not a language or a code. Um, I mean, I have a is source it a here. molecule? Well, so is ink on a piece of paper, right? Ink is molecules, paper is molecules, but if it has a message, right, then it's a it's a language, right? If it conveys a message, then it it, it is a language. It's right. Would you agree with that? Do languages exist? Yes, languages. Their language is real. Is it? Did, does it okay. exist got, like gotta, out gotta, like gotta, out in the? Do you, you mean it does quick. it exist pause, in the pause, in the pause, physical pause. realm? Like, can we like measure language? Like we measure like um, like photons or something like that. Um, I don't think so, but it does exist nevertheless, just like consciousness exists. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so languages exist. I would agree, but where do they exist? Yeah, they exist in, uh, I guess, in the mind. Right, in the mind. So I wouldn't say that they are real things, right? So you can call, you can call the ink on paper information, uh, but that's just that concept. It only exists as information in our minds. It is just ink on paper. So are you, so let me give you like an analogy, right? If I, or if someone like creates like a software program, right? And it, 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 uh, it interfaces with like with the hardware, right? Um, there's an encoder and a decoder, right? The hardware decodes it, the that you know that that the coding of the software, right? Would sure, you say I don't know that, how computers that, work, but I'll take your I'll take your word. Okay, would you say that is like there's a there's an encoder and decoder in that situation? Yes, there's a process where um, electrons flow from one place to another and some switches get flipped and uh, uh, things happen. Yes. Right. So my contention is that that is derivative only of an intelligent mind. Someone had to put that information there, the encoding information and the decoding mechanism. Someone had to someone had to do that right we don't see in the natural world of something like that happening like you know coming about by natural naturalistic processes um, computers no molecules yes <laughs> molecules okay. that transmit hereditary information from one cell to another sure we see that in nature there's, there's nothing. Okay, so the DNA, the DNA, the DNA code, right, is very, very similar to like uh, computer codes, right? No, so I don't think it's, really. it's remotely similar at no, all. It's it's like actually, any sense other than like a a mental convention. Oh my goodness, no, that's you're you're just really wrong here. This is false information. You're you're peddling false information on TikTok. So let me no, correct. I just have a different no. opinion than you do about it. <laughs> so, well, I'm going by facts. I don't care about just, opinion. Yeah, you are you are about to say it's not an opinion, but okay. Okay, so I will, I will say this. Code is defined as the rules of communication between an encoder, you know, like a writer or speaker, and a decoder, a reader or listener, using agreed upon symbols, right? So going by that definition, right, DNA is a literal code. Now, I want to quote so, to you. I'm going to quote to you um, Hubert Yockey, who is uh, um, the author of the book called Information Theory, Evolution, and the Origin of Life. Oh and this was, this was, this was uh, published by Cambridge University, right? And he's not even like a creationist. So you can't say, oh, this is, you know, he's a Wait, hold on. When was it? Was it peer-reviewed? I'm curious. When was it peer-reviewed? I, I don't know if it was peer-reviewed. I don't. Wait, 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 wait. But, but he, but he is. Was peer-reviewed? It's but he is big. an expert in bioinformatics. Wait, oh, wait, Jamal, Jamal, yeah. Jamal, Jamal. Yes. Isn't that important if it's peer reviewed or not? Uh, not always. I don't think so. Well, I, I, I no, no, no. It, it is and, and foundational it, to whether or it's not foundational. It's foundational. Absolutely. 
I mean, uh, it might just be the guy's opinion. So, I mean, like, whatever. But what's Hubert Yaki's opinion? I mean, I'm sure I've heard angels say it before, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So it reads here, um, quoting from his uh, book, it says, um, um, uh, da, 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 da. well, let me just summarize what, what, he, what he has here. So like the book, which is written by Hubert Gawke, the foremost living specialist in bioinformatics, um, he demonstrated that the coding process in DNA is identical to the coding process and math mathematical definitions used in electrical engineering. And, uh, you know, this is not even like subjective. And, and I quote, information, transcription, translation, code, redundancy, synonymous, messenger, editing, and proofreading are all appropriate terms in biology. They take their meaning from information theory, Shannon, and are not synonyms, metaphors, or analogies, end quote. So he's saying that the DNA code, it's not like some kind of like metaphor or an analogy. He's saying that it's a, literally a code, right? And yes, but and this is not even like debatable. Yes. I, you, could say, you could say that for literally any chemical transformation the like when i when you burn methane it creates uh carbon dioxide and water vapor so i and the, and that's like predictable and knowable based on the yeah but energies that's not... contained in oxygen and methane and all this other kind of stuff so i could i could just say yeah that's also a code right? Um, which mm, means that no. literally everything is just a code. And if everything is, then it's nothing special. No, no, that's also, you're, by you're, the way, you're... Jamal, there's literally an entire scientific article that even I even covered this called DNA is a language. There's the abstract from it from like, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Thank Jamal, you for like, Jamal, Jamal, stop for backing up what stop, I'm saying. Stop. No, I'm oh, not you, backing you, up. Oh, you bought it. You bought it. No, 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 no. The title of the article, right, is DNA a language with a question mark. Oh, okay. I thought you said DNA is a language. Yeah, we can read the whole abstract if you want to and even access my institution to get it. But it literally suggests by the abstract that no, like <laughs> the computer simulations and biological approach. To, no, it is not. Definitely no, it, not it actually, it actually not even is. Remotely it's, closed. It's, There's no linguistic me. connections to DNA. Jamal, okay, so. Stop. Oh, okay, why, stop, why did you bring up a third person? Do you need, stop, do you need this much stop backup? Trembling, stop because I've been told that they're an expert in this field. Yeah, I am so literally means... yeah, yeah. a computational biologist. Genetics okay, so what do you think about Hubert Yaki? What do you think about <sighs> Hubert Yaki? Let her, let her stop. Talk. Stop, Jamal. I'm literally an expert in this area. Yeah, yeah. Okay. First, DNA is not a code, as in is the it... sense of programming code. Let's begin. For, let's begin for the simplest thing. It's redundant. DNA and RNA are redundant. Oh. Programming code are not. Did you know? Did you know that um, in information theory, Second, redundancy, it's, it's redundancy time, it's also time, exists. It's time for you to open your ears and close your mouth and learn. Okay. Second, there's more to information in life than just DNA and RNA. In fact, when we are dealing with the evolution of certain types of cells, we deal in omics. And if you ever, ever study this area, you will understand what omics are. Genetics and genomics, meaning that you have genetics, you have epigenetics, you have okay. transcriptomics, you have proteomics, you have metabolomics, you have several different levels of information that all of that can, interact with each other. And your in? analogy, your analogy in a moment. of the computer is oh if your if your computer if your hardware was able to alter its own software which is in we it's impossible your hardware of your personal computer is unable to alter its own software when we're talking about life when we're talking about living organisms <laughs> the hardware in your analogy constantly alters the software Okay, um, before you continue on with your your monologue, um, Dude, I just want to monologue. State, what do you mean? 
What do you mean? Okay, what so the yeah, hold on, hold on, on, on. So, all so, nearly Jamal, all languages. Jamal, 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 hold on, Jamal, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'll let you talk. I'll let you talk. Hold on, hold on. Nearly all languages have error correction or redundancy, right? So, no. um, so the DNA um code no. has error correction. No, no, no. Like how? How? Who, no. who programmed no. that into the DNA code? Yes, no. yes. Yes, no. even the English language no, is no, about fifty no, 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 percent no, no, redundant, no, 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 which no, means no. Okay, Jay, oh, wait, you've, yes. you've said something false, so just address that. You were trying to compare uh, DNA to programming languages. Programming languages are not redundant because if they were redundant, yes, software developers would have had hard time to ever code anything. They're direct. If you say if you write something in a programming language. It's expected to run as the software developed has run it. When you okay. when you have genetic code, it can run on a myriad of ways. Okay. Because can can I can I respond? Can I respond? I don't with. I don't have all day. Okay, and you, you sound your tone is very very like condescending. Just to let you know. But Jamal, come on. You say that things that are brother. false. And this okay, is, so this is a scientist that what knows this stuff. Oh, what science? Guy. What, like, She's What's a scientist. She's a competition of biologist. What do you mean? Oh, what? what Paleo, can I see Paleo, let's let's make just a little verification. Paleo, have you read one of my papers? Yes, uh, you a have. A little, a little bit of it, not too much of it. So I'm kind of like. Yeah, but basically, Paleo has read one of my papers. I have, I have, a bit, quite a bit of them. Yeah. So DNA has. Um, Jamal, extensive can you, redundancy. Can you have some okay, well, can humility? I... Can you have okay, some can I can I can I talk without you interrupting me? You're very rude. Okay, but okay. Let's, why don't let's you put yourself have... on mute? Just hush. You you interrupted her too. What do you? And no, I, I was talking, Jamal, Jamal, and then Jamal, she just really interrupted it, me. Let's make it. Let's let's, okay, let's so, keep it simple. Uh, let's keep it simple. If you have a problem in plumbing in your house, okay. Here's what we're gonna do, Jamal. For one minute, you are gonna speak completely uninterrupted, and then everything that you say during that minute will be addressed in the next minute by silico biology. So Jamal, go right ahead. You can speak for a minute and say whatever you want. Yeah, so uh, DNA has extensive redundancy and error correction mechanisms to prevent mutation, noise, and information entropy, right? Um, that is indicative of an intelligent design, right? Like, where does this, where do these mechanisms come from? Like, you think it came about by unintelligent naturalistic processes? No. If you believe that, then I have a bridge to sell to you, right? And again, I, I reference Hubert Yaki. He believes, right, that this, um, the DNA code is very, very identical to um, Shannon's information um, theory. You have 10 right? seconds. Man, time goes by fast. Um, so he's not saying that DNA code is, is like a metaphor or um, an analogy as you guys are trying to put it. Like you guys are trying to like reduce it to just like, oh, it's just molecules. No, it's an actual code. It, it is literally just No, molecules. no, it's, it's more than that. Okay. Silico, go ahead whenever you want. As you fail to understand, Jamal, there is more than just a genome in, involved in the creation of a cell. You have the genome, then you have all of the molecules that exist on top of the genome that control the genome called epigenetics. And from those, those epigenetics, you also have control mechanisms on, on RNA, which can either become mRNA and then generate proteins or can become also control mechanisms of the genome and that those mRNAs will in, in turn develop into proteins that can even themselves control the genome and all of the metabolism of the cell can control all of these that you've heard about. So you have that several different levels of information that interact on several different ways. When I talk about redundancy, do not talk over me. When I talk about redundancy, I talk about systems that exist within this information system that are redundant. You have situations where, for no reason whatsoever, in certain organisms, you have 
19 different copies of the same genome for no reason whatsoever. Okay, so that was basically, only... now let me respond. To, no, um, that was a minute. So Jamal, I wanna respond to what wait, wait, you hold... said. Okay, go ahead. So you, uh, your entire, you spent basically the entire minute I gave you giving us an argument from incredulity. Uh, DNA couldn't have been made in any way other than an intelligent designer. Why? Because it couldn't have formed naturally. Therefore, an intelligent designer made it. Like you haven't given us any evidence. Yeah, you just told so, us, I don't sorry. know, and you don't know how it could have happened naturally. Hold on. Therefore, the God I believe in did it. Yeah. So um, yeah. the DNA code, right, is its own um, communication system. Right. Do you realize, Jamal, that oh, there, oh is, there is far beyond DNA? That there are there are I, whole, I uh, even... whole organisms that depend just on RNA. Okay, okay let me respond. Something. Let me respond to the host, right? So the host keeps trying to like reduce it to just like molecules. It's like, oh, it's just molecules. It's just following the it, law. It is it's just no. molecules. Hold yeah. on, hold on. No, it, it's it, there's something. There's a higher. There's a higher like. There's more layers to it. It's it's, it's a language. Like it's what? a code. Right, just like, just like when you when you write down a, a, is a message code? on a piece of paper, okay, right? You, make, you can say, you can say, you can say it's just it's just it's just molecules. It's just ink. It's just let's paper. Let's make a simple. Right? But no, there's there's no, there's, no, no, there's a higher. I need oh my I need goodness. to address. I, I need to address this. Just, can I just can I just make a hold, simple? No, no, no. Hold on. Let me finish. Let's let me. Make, there's three versus that. one. Hold on. Let me finish. Okay. So like the bits and the bytes on your hard drive. Um, Dude, I was really quiet the entire time. Huh? They they don't like know anything. It's just it's just bits and it's just you know they simply obeying the laws of physics, right? It's purely yeah. like a electro mechanical process. Yeah, there but, you go. You got it. But but they still have to be programmed to do what they do. Computer programs no. don't emerge no, they naturally, don't. No. right? They are they designed. They obey the laws of physics. The information the information on your computer cannot be reduced to many pounds of magnetic material or silicon you or do whatever. Realize, right? You do realize that- Similarly, similarly, yeah. Oh my goodness. Jamal, do you, like, do, you do realize that in laboratory, uh, researchers such as me can are able to control and interfere with the neurons that people have in their brains? Uh, so what's your point? How is this relevant to what I was talking about? You are saying that they have to be programmed. So I, yes, that's me yes. that I'm God? That's me that I'm God? that I am able to program those neurons. I'm able to change that program by will, at will. Change what program? I, I'm able to shift that, that neurological program and making people doing uh, involuntary mov movement at my own will. So am I God? In at your scheme. We, we've, we've also put electrodes in cockroach brains and we can steer them like they're RC cars. Proving sure. th this proves that okay. the programming or whatever is yeah, merely but... physical. There's there's no spooky woo woo nonsense required for any of this. And if people are scared, okay. Now we're getting to like done, it's not dangerous. the Jamal. question of like free will. Now we got, we're, we we're changing you. subjects here. Jamal, no, I'm I'm staying on topic because this is directed to what you said. You keep calling the DNA code, and that there's it something there other than the DNA. Okay, so I have these two things, right? This thing is on the left of this thing. Do you agree? Mm, sure. Is left a thing? Is there such a thing as left? Um, to you, yeah. Okay, could you get me some? Mm, get you some left? No. Exactly. Can you get me some code? Can I get, well, depending on like, what do you mean by code? Like, do you want like a code for Microsoft um, Word? Do you <laughs> no, want, I do don't want, want you to get do, me do, some, do you I, want I, don't, the... I don't want you to get me the numbers that, that tell Microsoft Word how to work. I want you to get me some code in the same way you would get me some left. I can describe that this is to the left of this. There's no such thing as left. So there's you're saying, so, there's no so, oh, so are you saying, here. okay, so are you no saying. left here. And right, there's no wait. code in the DNA. The DNA it, it, it actually is a code. And we have a wait. mental convention so wait a minute. that allows so wait a minute. us to describe so DNA wait a minute. in so wait those a minute. terms, but there is no actual code. That's not a so thing when, when someone so when someone says like a computer code, are you saying that the computer code they're not they don't know what they're talking about? Computer codes don't exist. Like what? 
Like, what are you it's saying? It's an idea that exists in our minds and not something other than that. And DNA is not computer code. Uh, it, it, is, it is a code because there's, there's an encoder and a decoder. It's not even close. It's not it's, even close. Okay. All right. You, you guys act like you guys are the expert, but let me show you something really quickly. Um, I didn't act. J I Jamal, studied DNA it. is a molecule and it undergoes chemical transformations interacting with other molecules. That happens literally all the time in nature. Uh, so um, this is direct. This is like a direct comparison to uh, communication systems and electrical, electrical engineering and a DNA communication system, right? So there's the information source, transmitter, signal, noise source, receive signal, receiver, and destination, right? Uh, the DNA code is very, very similar. And this is- um, No, it isn't. Yes, it is because there's a, a no, message in the DNA alphabet, the DNA tape, right? The nucleic no, it isn't. polymerase, right? And then there's the encoding, right? The, the D, DNA alphabet to mRNA alphabet, the transcription, we call that transcription yeah. in biology. Uh, okay. oh, I'll get, uh, hold on. Can you and there's a channel it? from the, the mRNA to message in the mRNA alphabet. And it, there's also oh, noise, gosh. right? We call that, we call that like mutations, right? Or genetic noise, right? But then there's the, um, the mRNA message. How right. old is And then old there's decoding. Is... What? Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, great. There's Jamal, transcription, translation single... in the DNA. <laughs> in the DNA, DNA, DNA. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right? Can you please so mute and this is all self contained, not, right? There's translation, transcription in the DNA um, information system, right? It's, it's its own self contained system. There's an encoding, decoding mechanism which within this. Um, within the system, right? And you're yes. telling me that this and came every about- Every step of that is accomplished by molecules undergoing chemical reactions. No miracle happens at any one of these steps. And there's no reason to assume a miracle was required to get the process to happen in the first <sighs> place. But anyways, Silico, go ahead. I'm going to be fairly objective. Jamal. What age is the biology book you are reading from? I was I was quoting uh, Hubert Yockey's um, information theory, evolution and origin of life. What age? What year is it from? Two thousand five. Okay, you are you are you are entering realm before next next generation sequencing, and before we are we have been able to consistently sequencing. Uh, basically, the genome, the epigenome, the transcriptome, and all of all of these different levels of information within several cells after NGS was developed. You are you are falling literally into a trap, thinking that biologists think that the central dogma of biology is a, is the thing that exists and doesn't exist beyond it. First. All of these different levels of information that I've been talking about, and I'm going to ask you to enumerate all of these levels of information that I've been talking about, all of them talk with each other. So I've talked about more than one level of information, Jamal. So tell me which levels of information have I talked about several times during this conversation. Jamal, you said you don't have very much time. How much time do you have? Okay, um, well, I'm gonna get going because she's like dominating the discussion here. She's like very long winded, but thank well, you. She for knows more on. than any of us do, so she has the ability to speak on it. No, she's yeah. spewing a bunch of, of nonsense, but a bunch of you nonsense. Have a, so you guys have, have a good you day. Have no ability, you have no ability to discern what is or isn't nonsense because you don't understand this field. I understand. I think, I think no, that what she's talking about is a bunch of gibberish. Already. A bunch of gibberish. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Your wait, wait, inability to understand it is not. I know. I understand what she's saying, but what she's saying you is called just it gibberish. She clearly did. Yeah, Jamal, let me kind of decipher what you like. What you're saying, right? You're saying is a bunch of gibberish. Well, what you're actually saying is, well, here's the science. I know fuck all about it, so I'm just gonna say, well, it's all nonsense. <laughs> 
There you go. I deciphered it for you. I okay. decoded it for you. There you go. I decoded it. There you go. So, so why is it at the end you're just so, going to say herder intelligent designer, which isn't a which isn't a sophisticated technical argument against anything? I mean, I think I think it's very reasonable and rational to conclude. It's very reasonable and rational. Oh my for goodness! You to, you, for you to have some you and admit that you don't know. Very rude. You have no manners. I don't care. <laughs> you are very, what very you, got no you have no manners at all. Like seriously. I, no manners. Have so a good rude. day. Y'all need they, Jesus. They, you need they, Jesus. They say that, and they say.